name is Ryan. Um, I studied computer science uh, in Warren College, and I graduated pretty recently in December of 2021. So um, yeah, that was right after fall quarter ended. And right now I'm a software engineer at Amazon. Me personally, I prepare for software interviews using resources like Leak Code. Um, from there, um, I can practice the I can practice the algorithmic questions that uh, I pe like. You know, people typically see in uh, in software I interviews. So some resources that I've used, um, I previously mentioned it in my first question, but I uh, I use a lot of Leak Code and also and also a lot of Hacker Rank to. Um, so I guess uh, I guess I practice um, the actual questions. I also use some um, some free courses on on YouTube as well, because you know if I can't remember how to invert a binary tree or if I need some dynamic programming refreshers, um, YouTube is, is also a really good resource as well. I'd say that the that the top undergrad classes from UCSD that prepared me for um, for my role here at Amazon. Would probably be um, CSC 100, CSC 101, and also CSC 110, right? CSC 100 that um, that gave me a, a lot of foundations for data structures. Um, CSC 100, CSC 101 that was really helpful for um, for my for my algorithmic interview questions, and also CSC 110. Um, the concepts that, that I learned in there, those those like directly apply to um, uh, to my job now. So so that's been very helpful. More in particular to my job, right, is that right now um, I'm working on I'm working on machine learning within uh, within uh, within Amazon, right, and I think that a lot of the I guess like a lot of the algorithms that um, that I've learned um, at UCSD those those have been really helpful. Long story short, I chose to study software development because um, right right when I finished high school, right. Everyone was going down the path of like becoming a doctor, and um, I didn't really want to do that because I had to spend um, eight plus years of school and also um, and also and also residency, right? So um, so yeah, my dad just told me, hey, you should study computer science because um, because basically if I if if, if I get into uh, if I get into a college's uh, computer science program uh, if, and, and I don't like it, it's going to be a lot easier to switch out of it versus switching into it. So that's why I started studying it. And after I started, um, I really, I really love like most of the concepts there. So that's why I stuck with it. There are quite a bit of differences um, uh, in everything. Um, I guess it sort of depends on how you define depths and, and concentrations. Um, for example, if you're if you're working within like within like web development, if you're working within within like a full stack. Uh, or or like a back end front end right um, everything there it's going to um, I I'd say like 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 everything there it, um, like the job is all completely different but I'd say that I'd say that there's one similarity in that like I guess the fundamentals um, like like that is all the same right so for example like working working within a team setting um, understanding um, I guess like I guess like understanding how software engineering like works as a whole. Um, that is all the same there. For me personally, the most difficult thing about studying software development is um, is pretty much at the very beginning, right? So, um, so for me, right, like right after high school, I didn't have any programming experience, and then I came into UCSD, right? And and pretty much a lot of people from from the Bay Area and also um, and also and also Southern California in particular, like they are very um, well versed. From their from the high school courses and also projects, and I pretty much felt like I was um, I was already behind from day one, right? And and I think that um, and I'd say that the number one recommendation that I have for, for students that are struggling with this problem is is um, is basically going to as many office hours as possible. Okay, so 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 I say that like that you know ninety nine percent of um, of all the tutors, TAs, um, they're all there to help you. They're all there to help you learn as well. So, so it's your job to um, to reach out to them. I landed my first internship at ServiceNow, right? And um, 
And I landed that during my junior year of college. And so, um, and so pretty much at the start of the year, um, you know, I did the same thing and I just like mass applied to a bunch of companies, right? And none of them really got back to me. Um, I had a few coding assessments, um, but, but, you know, but after that, they didn't really schedule, um, they didn't really schedule any, um, any follow-ups after that, right? So, um, so I did, you know, I did what I did in school and, and I pretty much reached out to as many alumni to, uh, to as many, to as many recruiters as possible. And luckily this, um, this one person that knew a service now, uh, engineer, um, I reached out to him. He was super helpful and he helped me like, like he, he helped me give my resume to that, uh, to that service now engineer. And, and after that, um, I was able to land an offer there. I guess with an industry, right? Um, like, like your concentration is pretty much what you're going to be doing, right? Um, I found that for me in school, there was, I guess, like, I guess, like, there was a bunch of like different classes that um, that I had to take that that I, I didn't really find too useful. But, but I'd say that like within industry, um, everything you're working on, everything you're learning is going to be like super useful um, for your role. So I'd say that's the key difference. I do have one more comment about uh, about question eight. How does he land your first internship? Um, you know, I do. You know, I do want to say that like um, that um, that for most that for most applications, right? They open up within um, in August, maybe some of them in July, right? And that is pretty much before we all start school. Um, we all start we all start in September, right? And and basically the logic there is that you know companies start recruiting right when semester school start. They're not really going to wait for us quarter students in order to uh, start uh, in order to start our school program, right? So if you want the biggest advantage possible, if you're applying online, you want to start like as early as possible. <laughs>